This is going to be the third video that I've done on the Novridge fan unit. And uh, I have the links in the description for the first two videos that I made on this. When I originally got the Novridge fan unit, it worked like a champ. did have a problem with the power indicator. It wouldn't show up when I pressed a button. Uh, either it was like misaligned or something happened to it. Anyway, I wor it worked great. I bought this boonie hat and I have the mask for it, which is over there. <clears throat> so I made up a hat, a boonie hat, and the mask to work with this. And this was my photography unit that I used uh, to use for the, the fan unit. And one of the things that I found uh, that somebody mentioned to me, they said, oh, it's very fragile, you get shot by BBs, you have problems. So I put this rubberized PVC patch on the back of it, and I do have a BB marker too on here where it did get shot, but I never got hit on the side. So I'm going to put this on the new unit when I get it out of the box here. So anyway, I used it like twice, and it just quit. Now, I have another fan unit in my helmet, which I was using extensively when I'm playing, so I wasn't really worried about this. I figured if I get a chance, I'd rip this apart and take a look at it. Which brings me to my second video I, I did about the Novridge unit. I took it all apart, and I tested it, and the button would show fully powered, and when I turned on, nothing would happen. And the one guy said, oh, check the fan. It's probably not getting voltage. And I looked, and the fan was hooked up. And it just wasn't turning. So either the fan was bad, or there was a broken wire that I could not see, or something was bad on the motherboard. So I sent a request to Novridge just to see what they would say about this. I said I only used it twice. Uh, you know, here's the video that I made of it. Uh, maybe I should have bought something else. They were very nice. Uh, contacted by them, and they said... We're going to send you a new unit, it'll be out in the mail, and here it is. Novridge sticker on it. Awesome, they sent it UPS too, which got it here faster. So, it's still in the box, I just got it. So let's open it up. That was the first two videos, and so let's get to this pair now, and see what we all got. If it's actual unit itself, or it's the whole kit. Looks like it's the whole kit. Okay, you got the black box, the little envelope, and my receipt. Okay, so I'm going to leave that in the box. Put that on the side. Get the glasses out on here. And we're going to see what's in the envelope here. It's sealed shut, so I'll cut it open. Everything on camera. Uh, we've got some paperwork, which I'm going to pull out. Uh, Novridge stickers. Novridge stickers. And Novridge stickers for BB weights. In case you have a, an optional container, you want to put the BB weight on there. That's pretty cool. I have those somewhere else. Now, let's see here. I've got a little letter here, and it says, uh, like, thank you for your order, or this and that. This is like a standard uh, letter that they send out with this. All right. This patch I got, and I got a Novridge patch. Okay. And I got a pistol patch this time. Before, I got a, uh, one of their sniper rifles. So I'll be able to put this one on the patch wall, and that's just another one I'll have. Okay. Here's the Novridge fan unit, right here. Open the box. Inside the box is the Novridge fan unit, okay? The tubing, the adapter for your uh, goggles with the magnet on it, which is really cool. Inside the box, we got the charging cable, the cutting tool, 
a couple of Velcros, and another patch. This is a, a Novridge fan unit patch. I want to look at this. I want to see if it's actually better than the rubberized one that I have. This is like a leatherette type material. Mine's heavier and a little bit bigger. Uh, but this would go past on here. Yeah, so either one of these will work to put it on the particular unit. So we're going to put all most of this stuff back in the box. Charging cable as well. And the patch I'll leave right on top. The two Velcros are what we're going to be using right away. Now, what I have here on my hat is a spot for the Velcro. So what I'm going to do is take one of these Velcros off and I have, I put stitching in it so it stays on there and it's the smooth side so I gotta get the rough side on the unit itself. And we'll peel this and we'll put this just on here like so. And That'll attach right on there and stay. Now, one of the things that I noticed here when I took the unit off, the little clips come out of the unit itself. We, I don't think they broke off, but they just took, came out of the old unit. So I'll put them back in the bag with the old unit. Now, this patch is a rubberized patch. I, I really I like this a little bit better. It's, it's rubberized, it's thicker than the patch that they gave me. It's not bad. This patch is bigger, and it's black if you want to maintain the look. But I like the little Scooby, uh, you know, Scooby-Doo patch that I got. So I'm going to put that one on instead. Uh, I'm going to try to get that back in the bag right now. So we're going to take the other piece of Velcro that I got. The other Velcro part. Separate that. Can't do nothing with this one, so we're going to put this one aside. And this is the sticky, this is the hook side, so this is the nice side. We're going to put that back in here. I don't need. Actually, we can put that one together with this one. So I actually have one more Velcro if I want to use it for something else. I'm going to try and get that back in the bag. Would be nice if I could. I had it in the bag before. I don't know why it's such a pain in the ass getting in there now. All right, now it's back in the bag. So we're done with this and everything else. Uh, we're gonna take the uh, little tape, double-sided tape pin here, sticky, off here. Yeah, I was hoping they had a spot that would start, but uh, oh, there we go. Throw that away. And it didn't come off clean. Oh, that's nice. Okay, it came off there. Alright, now. I'm going to put this sticky thing, which is grabbing my fingers on here and then put my patch back on here now we're right like that now I am going to test this to see if it's charged this is the charging port right here so I don't need to see that let's see it's completely dead so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera charge this up and then see how it works here we are back later, and we have the unit charged up. And I want to show you, you press the button, indicates how it is. Now I pressed the turbo button, for some reason I, I had it on, but I got to turn it off. And it does work, it does blow good. Now, this hat is already set up for it. 
and I have the goggles set up for it as well. Well, what I'm thinking about doing is either putting it on a hat like this, on this hat, or this hat. Now, if I do something like this on this hat, it's a very flimsy hat where this is a thicker hat. But let's just say I take the keeper off the front, I can put the fan unit right there on the front of the cap. Now, I don't know how that will... It sits pretty good. I don't. It doesn't feel like it's. It wobbles a little bit, but it's not too bad. Now, if I put on the front of this heavier cap, I'm going to put it right down to the bottom of the cap. This one's a little bit more solid. So what I was going to do with these is take the extra piping that I have and make up piping for probably this hat which would probably be the best so that I could just unplug it from this hat take the tubes out you know take it out of the tubes and plug it into on the hat on the ball cap and wear the ball cap now want to show it's kind of hard it won't show on video the sound but just ever so slightly it's on it's blowing good turbo doing good so now what we're going to do is I'm going to put this back on the front of this on the back of the cap I'm going to plug the hoses back in that I had on it A little tough getting the hoses on here for some reason. Maybe I should have put them on before I put the unit on the cap. Okay, that one's on. A little twisting motion and they'll, they go right on, no problem. Now, let me just see here. And we do have air coming out of the bottom. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my goggles on the mask setup that I have. Put on my boonie hat. And that automatically clipped in place. Let's see if we got airflow. Oh yeah. I got airflow into the goggles. One thing I noticed with this is I do have to keep the strap on because it's a little heavy in the back. I am feeling the air go in there. Yeah, working pretty good. All right. So I'm going to shut this off, take this loose, and that's another thing about having the goggles with the mask separate from the hat or my helmet. I can just put this on and leave it off and walk around and then put the hat on for, for the, the air. So it's working again. I do have the patch on the back. Um, probably going to be taking pictures this Saturday. I'll test it and see how it works on fogging because it's going to be very humid out where living in Pennsylvania. If I do the update for that, I'll include that in another video. But we're back to running with the Novrich unit. Uh, good customer service. I really appreciate the time and effort they took to get this back to me. So, Novridge, thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the video. You guys have a good day. I'm just here to have fun.